Hello, friends. It's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. <coughs> and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. Holy smokes, what was that? If this is your first time listening, my name is Mr. Jim, and my wife and my three kids, we live in South Carolina. We love story time so much that we make and create and write stories every single day for you. So send me your ideas, and I would love to turn them into an awesome adventure just like Sterling. He wants to bring the zombie worms back. Are you guys ready for today's adventure? Me too, let's go! Alright, purple ninjas. I see that we have some more zombie worms over there. What is the plan for them? Well, boss, I know that we weren't able to get rid of all the books in the world when the zombie worms tried to eat all the books, and we were stopped about that. Don't remind me about our failures! Remember, I need new ideas. What are they? Oh, yes, yes. Well, we were thinking about uh, maybe trying out dropping off some zombie worms at the school library. And how exactly will the zombie worms help me take over the world? Well, we were thinking about using the grumpy serum, and maybe the zombie worms could help deliver it into all the pages of the books. And with the grumpy serum, just consider it a small step towards world domination. The Grumpy Serum? Yes, I remember that. That is what makes the whole world grumpy. Yes, and grumpiness precedes stinkiness. So if we can make them grumpy, we can make them stinky. All right, Purple Ninjas, let's get to work. (laughs) Those were the voices of Dr. Stinky Breath and the Purple Ninjas who are trying to take over the world. And I guess turning everyone grumpy is step one of this terrible evil plan. What started as a very normal day for Sterling and his friends quickly spun out of control during recess. Their whole class was in the library picking out some books and looking through them while Sterling and Noah, it was their turn to clean up the classroom. You see, all the students in the class, they had different chores and, and different jobs that they would have to rotate through. And today happened to be Sterling and Noah's cleaning up the room day. That meant they had to wipe down all the desks and put the chairs all in nice and neat and pick up any papers or pencils or things that had fallen on the ground and then sweep it. It's a really important job to make sure that the class stays clean because a clean classroom is a great place to learn. Wow, great job, guys, said their teacher. All right, it's about time to head over to recess. I'm going to call the rest of the class in from the library, okay? Sterling and Noah couldn't wait to get out in the sun. They got their things and ran out to the playground. Hey, Noah, said Sterling. Let's get some people together to play lava tag. I want to be it first. Okay. Noah ran around and asked who wanted to play lava tag with them. And he quickly came back to Sterling. Uh, something's weird, Sterling, said Noah. Nobody wants to play. Everyone is just sitting around being really grumpy today. What? Said Sterling. Let me ask. Hey, guys, who wants to play Lava Tag? I'm going to be the Lava Monster. Who's in? It was silent. Everyone's faces looked very grumpy kind of like a scowl on their face and they glared at Sterling who dared interrupt them as they sat on the ground. Okay, uh, sorry I asked, guys. Noah, what in the world is going on over there? Said Sterling. I don't know this. That's so weird. It's a beautiful day today, said Noah. Well, the two of them were not going to waste a beautiful day, so the two of them decided to play Lava Tag together. It wasn't as fun with just two people playing tag. Have you ever played tag with two people? (laughs) It's, It's not very fun because it's just a game of I tag you, then you tag me, then I tag you. (laughs) Well, Sterling and Noah played that the rest of recess, and then it was time to come in. As they were walking to class, they made sure to wash their hands after playing so fun outside They needed clean hands, and everyone else just moseyed on into class. Do you know how to make a grumpy face? Let me see your grumpy face. No, I don't want to play lava tag. 
Yeah, that is not. I don't. I don't like making that face. But yes, I can tell. <laughs> I can see that you know how to make that face. Well, Sterling and Noah, and the rest of their class, had a good rest of the day. Except everyone was just off. It was like a weird day. But all the students got on the school bus and went home for the day. Sterling waved at Noah as he got off the bus, and he ran back to his house. How was school today, Sterling? Said his mom. Oh, it was a pretty good day, except everyone was just, I don't know, everyone was really weird today. They, oh, everyone just seemed grumpy. Grumpy? Said his mom. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Like, it seemed to start like right at, around recess. Like when we went outside to play, literally nobody wanted to play with me and Noah. We were the only ones. That is really strange, honey, said his mom. Maybe tomorrow will be a better day. You know, everyone has a grumpy day, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, said Sterling. He ran upstairs to grab some of his walkie-talkies and to check in on all of his friends. Noah, Jack, Izzy, are you, the, are you all there? Shh. Hey, Sterling, shouted Jack. I'm here. Shh. So is Izzy. Shh. Jack and Izzy were Sterling's friends from his old school. but They loved to talk on the walkie-talkie together. All right, I'm glad you're here, guys said Sterling. But where's Noah? Noah, can you hear us? Over. Hey, hey, guys. Hey, sorry. I was all the way downstairs. I had to run upstairs all the way to my walking talking. Sorry, it took me an extra minute. Hey, Noah, said Izzy. All right, Jack and Izzy, said Sterling. This is an important call. We had something crazy happen at school today, and we want to see if something weird happened at your school today. Well, Jack, I don't know about you, said Izzy. But I thought everyone at school today, and even you a little bit, Jack, you're kind of grumpy. I wasn't grumpy. What are you talking about? said Jack. Well, uh, maybe it was just me. I I don't know. Did you say grumpy? said Sterling. That's exactly what happened at school today. At our school, everyone was super, super grumpy. Jack, tell me, are you grumpy today? said Sterling. No, I told you, I'm not grumpy. I don't know what you're talking about, said Jack. There was then a long pause of silence because I don't think anyone knew what to say. Okay, well, maybe it was just like a full moon or something, said Noah. Not that we're turning into werewolves or anything, but, you know, sometimes people can have weird days. So um, I'm sure tomorrow will be better, said Noah. Well, let's, uh, let's check in tomorrow and see... How it's going. Bring your walkie-talkies to school tomorrow. I'll see you later, Jack. Izzy, Noah, bye. Sterling signed off, and everybody got ready for bed. Meanwhile, up at the Stinky Lab, the Purple Ninjas were on to something. Oh, this is fantastic. Those zombie worms worked perfectly in delivering that grumpy serum into the books in the library and all the schools around here. What do you mean? You mean the plan is actually working? said Dr. Stinky Breath. Well, uh, so far so good. We've done some of our preliminary testing, and yes, the the rate of grumpiness is far above normal, and it seems to be directly correlated to the amount of grumpy serum that we put in the books. So tomorrow, should we put more grumpy serum in there? Dr. Stinky Breath paused and put a hand on his chin like he was thinking very deeply. Yes, I think we should definitely do that. Let's increase the amount of zombie worms that are delivering this grumpy serum and crank it into phase two for tomorrow. (laughs) Oh no! We're going to have to wait and see what happens on tomorrow's episode of Kids Short Stories. Great job, you listened all the way to the end, and you know what time it is, it's time for Kid Shoutouts. I want to say hey to Miles from Maine, Autumn from Scotland, Hava and Zach from Turkey, Hannah from Ontario, Micah from New Jersey, James and Ellie from Boston, Maya from Boston, Noelle and Naya from India. I'm so glad that you're all on the Kid Short Stories family and on our spy team, we could not stop Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day. (laughs) And I'll see you next time. Bye.